Okay, so back here on reserve, do another loot run. Um, the spawn, in my opinion, sucks, but you are right next to this RBVO, which is the other marked term on this map. It sucks because this one typically is not as good as RBBK, but we'll try it out. Since we're here. Euros. See what I mean? Like so far. Stuff can spawn on the chair. I think I've seen a Bitcoin on the chair like one time, but other than that, it's like I think there's something else in here. Yeah, see. Oh, uh, oh okay. Sweet. Bullet. Alright, well, if we die, we get something. Alright, so from here, probably we'd go straight to Queen. Might have hurt someone, I'm sure. So we're passing bunkers right now, and here's train station. This is where you extract. Um, for new players, when the train comes, you see it pop up right here. You have to physically get on the train before the doors close. So, just FYI. It's been a couple times where we've been playing teams and someone gets left behind. So, gotta watch out for that. Uh, I don't... I think that there are decent spawns in these night buildings, but as far as tech loot, you're best off just going on the route that I'll show you if we make it there. So this is kind of why this spawn sucks, just because you're very exposed. Uh, kind of this whole time. Yeah, I could have gone a little bit more covert, but ultimately there's a lot of openings that you gotta run through. But anyway, here's Queen. Check it out, see if anyone's hit it. Listen for some, uh, no one's here, I don't think. Alright, so this is the main server room. like 9k, the therapist, motor, it's like 40, it might be 50k right now, because I think it's a trade item, military cables will spawn over there, this one is usually not the best room, but sometimes you get lucky with the graphics card sitting on these servers, that's a LCD, That's, I mean, it just sounded like it was inside. That was weird. Alright, Tetris spawns right here. It's very close. So, as you can see, that was the spawn right here. Some people don't know about, you don't ever see the item. Is that a player? We'll see. because I think that's more expensive.
It sounds like that scav is aggroed on this guy and he's a pistol boy. Versus glass. Try and creep him real quick. Yes, we'll do it! So there's wood over here and there's a bag in that room. So that's what I'm thinking. It's just that he sounded like he was behind me, which is weird. Oh my gosh, dude. Like I'm completely surrounded. Oh shoot. Uh-huh. they could open doors if that's a scav is this freaking boss squad dude it legitimately might be boss squad that somehow found its way in here they're like talking so much and opening doors Okay, see what I'm talking about? There's wood in here. Um, oh, and I thought there was a... Dude, I don't know what's going on. I thought there was a bag in there. Alright, so this is where you go to RBAK. It's not a necessary key because I could go up the stairs into the room to the left, drop down. Uh, but graphics cards will spawn. Fortunately, it looks like we are not that lucky. I think that's roughly about the same. Plenty of those lamps. Uh, graphics cards will spawn all throughout these shelving units. Oops, make sure I... Dude, the circuit boards and lamps. Um, check there for flash drives. And this is where you would drop yes. down. Um, I usually just exit that way and make it faster. But at least coming in, um, I feel a little bit safer. This is great. This is great. Blech, berca, shibi! 
Oh yeah, this is great. At least we're not losing blood. Um, there's so much going on out there. Like it's so risky to go check him right now. But why not? All right. Could have just gone straight across the wood floor, but we'll be a little bit quieter. We'll go through the basement, do the other marked room. There's some mess in here, I don't know. Gunpowder. I don't know how much that's worth. Let's do this, this, this. It's a four item slot. That's interesting, has not been hit yet. So that's the main reason I have this key, it's for that gun. It's worth a little bit more. Um, uh, let's drop that and keep that. Um, and because that's a six rounder, and it's usually about half. Okay. Uh, different attachments and whatnot. This is the marked room RBBK. So there's no tech spawn this time, unfortunately. There's, there's no Bitcoin or GP. There is a gold chain. There's a chainlet. I think I just heard bushes rustling. Um, and at this point, we're going. F is, it s is that shadow moving? Because I'm. Anyway, at this point, we're looking for extract. Um, all right, let's get. Wait, that was English. That was not Russian. It sounds like he's out there on the helo. Sound like he ran the opposite way that we're going, which is good, so we'll just try and bounce. Alright, so from here we've got the Red Rebel Ice Pick and we've got the Paracord. So hopefully. 
and it's not great. I cannot see very far because of this fucking pain. Hopefully we don't run into anyone that range. Or in general. <laughs> That'd be nice. Just had some pain so we can keep it going. Um, Alright, so then I go up here on the upper path. Upper west path at Dome. I've got the KPRL key. It has not been hit yet. So we'll just check it out. Yeah, that hasn't been hit either yet. So I guess no one's been up to doing yet. Check that top safe. the motor. Base is more fun. Check this safe. Weapon's great. Nothing. Another safe. I guess that one's worth more. It's purple. This little thing, I've never seen anything in there. Uh, shoot, intelligence. Um, can this go on anything else? I don't know if the gunpowder is worth anything. So I'm just going to take that. I think intelligence is like 40 or 50k. And the main reason for going into this room, there is a safe, but keep your... Uh, sorry. Um, RBA key, key will spawn right up there. And it's like an unlocked room, so there's no point in not hitting it. Uh, dang. That's also like 40, 50k right now because of a trade. But that's alright. Hopefully no one's camping the extracts. And we're right here. Cool, so it's just over like 15 minutes for that one. Um, we hit all the, pretty much all the good loot spawns. Um, started all the way across the map, hit both marked rooms, surprisingly. Uh, so I'll pause real quick and then we'll get to selling. Just wanted to save some time for you guys uh, while it loads, but I think for the most part we can sell just about everything to traders. I think I don't think I got anything like of crazy value on the flea market. All right, so let's take everything out. Now we got that GP. Rig this gun, that gun. Uh, we use a couple rounds. We'll fill that up really quick. Cool, and that's what we started with. So I think just about everything we can sell, like I said, to traders. Just double checking. I know I could get more. Like you can always get more for everything on the flea market, typically, unless it's like this vase, um, the gold chain, like certain things. You're not gonna get more just because of the. Uh, the fee that it has, but let me double check this. And quite a few guns this time. That was, that was pretty cool. And I'm selling everything just, oh, actually I think we have to put intelligence on the market. 60, cool. We'll put it up for 55 just so it sells. And I missed that gun. Mechanic. 60k for that one, that's cool. Um, okay, so with that uh, extra intelligence money coming in, 55k, we just hit just over 500k, which is pretty sweet for that run. Um, 
hitting both marked rooms, that's actually surprising that it was that low, but still nice to be able to show you guys all the, essentially the entire run. So you need the RBVO key. Don't look at these, that's all labs. It's these keys right here. That's every room that we just hit. RBVO was the first marked room we hit. RBBK was the last marked room we hit. Um, RBTB is right next to RBBK. That's the AK and Magpul AK room uh, with sights and suppressors. RBKPRL, uh, that one was up by the dome and that one had the uh, what had the vase in there. And so there's two safes in that room. Those are the main things to hit along with that weapons case. Let me pull this money back in just so you can see. Um, and then lastly, but not least, the RBAK room, which like I said, it is completely optional if you want to be safe about it, which is what I, I just have the key because I found it. Um, so I figured why not keep it 339 for that one. That fluctuates between three and 400 daily, just kind of depends on how the market's doing. 250 for the KPRL. Get this one last probably. It I don't know that it's that important. It does add a nice, you know, 100 to 200k sometimes to your run, but you know if you if you've got really good uh, loot from the RBBK or RBVO, which is rare in my opinion, but from these two rooms, these are the ones to start with. This key, you I, I mean I got that one I think I've had it since it was like around 500k. I saw them, you know, when they first came out in the millions, but it's 78. Always check for right here 25 out of 25 uses. 77k for this key that'll pay for itself in one run um, and that has a chance of spawning weapons cases key tools i've seen dog tags key cards money cases ammo cases i'm not sure about magazine cases i can't remember if i've gotten one there or not um, but like you get one of those and that's why you bring the scab backpack is because this is the same size i know it's thick but you'll get a weapons case they're the same size that's why you bring the scav is it'll fit in this backpack. That's the minimum one you need. Um, and it's only like 20K, 13, 15K for this bag. Any pistol, I like to bring a headset just so I can hear what's going on. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about it. Let me know what you guys think. I know it wasn't as much as the last run, but it was uh, kind of a full comprehensive loot run of the entire map, hitting both uh, marked rooms and we're just hitting all these keys. So. Yeah, appreciate uh, you guys watching. Like um, if you liked it, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.